Hello everyone. Today I will be showing you to forward X11 over SSH. What this enables you to do is launch graphical application from a remote Linux box on your Windows machine. There are a couple prerequisites to this procedure. First you need a Linux box that has X11 forwarding over SSH enabled. Uh, I do. It's my desktop computer. You also need a program called PuTTY and XMing, which you see in the right hand corner. Uh, if you want to do this procedure, I assume that you already know how to install Windows programs. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. First, you launch PuTTY like any normal program. Uh, and you come to the confusion window. You want to go to SSH on the left hand side and expand that box and then click X11. Uh, click X11 forwarding, scroll back up session, and type your IP address as your host name. And click open. You'll be at a terminal where you log in like normal. You'll notice my password was not echo. Uh, that's a Linux feature. Here are my files on my remote Linux box, not my Windows computer. So, normally, if you don't forward X11 over SSH, all you can do, uh, and that's, that's, that's worthwhile for a lot of Linux people. For example, I could go to my website and maybe edit some code in there with uh, my favorite text editor, VI. And here's my code. And I could edit it, have it, you know, maybe delete some stuff, whatever. I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to quit without reading. Now, suppose I didn't like Terminal. Suppose I wanted to edit in a graphical text editor, like Kate. Uh, Kate actually is what I do my website in. VI is sweet and all, but Kate is... It's pretty awesome. So we launch Kate and file name. And it's going to take it just a second to load up. Uh, remember, we're in graphics over internet, con uh, a, a local area connection, actually. So that's why it's going to take a second. But as you can see, once the program actually starts and it's underway, it works uh, pretty nicely. So basically, what you see me doing here is I am editing my website that is on my remote Linux box but I'm doing it from my Windows PC uh, it's very useful if you like want to watch TV and on your website but you can't really carry your desktop to your living room so I think that's pretty cool you know there's there's other stuff we can do too maybe not just edit uh, not just edit web pages instead I want to look at a picture so I can go to my pictures folder and maybe I want to view uh, my business card banner so I'll launch Gwen view which is a Linux only program, which is, uh, if that's not proof enough that this is all remote over my network, then I guess nothing is. Uh, so we'll type Gwen business card banner .png, and it will launch Gwen view and load my business card up in the viewer. And you can do anything you want to this, uh, program like you would any other program. Maybe I want to rotate it, blah, blah, my next picture. It's that simple. Uh, you can pretty much do whatever you want that you would normally do in a program on your local machine, except it's executed remotely. And I'm kind of a dork, so I think that's pretty sweet. Uh, it looks like GwenView is giving me some problems. I want to discard my changes. It wasn't giving me problems, it's just going kind of slow once again. That's because it's live over the network. Now, I think that's a pretty sweet feature of Linux and X11 in general. 
Uh, and just it's not limited only to your home network. You can also do it over the internet. I've done work. Uh, my employment on my desktop computer. For uh, it's not really that unusual for Linux people to do that. You can do it from Windows. So I hope you enjoyed my presentation, and I hope it's useful to you in the future. Thank you.